Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Herakak Kodash. That were honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another, another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled The Prophecies. Okay, the prophecies, and um, the reason why it's titled the prophecies is because that's the time we're in, man. It's it's happening all around us, everywhere you look. Everywhere you look, the prophecies just uh, 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 if you have eyes to see, scriptures say, you know, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see. When you measure the time diligently within itself, as it tells you to, you would know that the prophecies, the prophecies, man, are literally jumping off of the pages, man. Okay? All around, everywhere you look. As a matter of fact, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go. I'm, I'll, I'll just start there. Let me go and grab that real quick. This is, this will be second Ezra, the ninth chapter. And, um, I start the first verse. It says, "He answered me then. This is the the prophet Ezra, and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that that it, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. we in the end time, man. Verse 6, it says, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and endings and effects and signs. And we're in that time, man, because the prophecies are speaking. All right? Prophecies are speaking, man. You got this um, this um, royal crown, 19. That's a pestilence, man. Psalms 91 tells you, tells you about the pestilence, right? These things are in the scriptures, man. And, and we know what the scriptures say. The scriptures say none shall fail, man. You know, Lord willing, I get that scripture. This is the book of Psalms. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms chapter um, 90, 91. It says, 91 and verse 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the father and from the noisome pestilence. Okay. Um, that's, that's that noisome pestilence. That will be going into uh, the, 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 the destruction. It's verse, um, verse, verse, um, verse six. No, I'm gonna jump down to verse six. Nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness. Okay? Nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. So, pestilence is prophesied, man. And the Royal Crown 19. Okay? That's a pestilence, man. Okay, so it's prophecy. Prophecy is speaking, man. All right, so I just brought that out to show you that that's part of prophecy, you know. And 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 and, and it's speaking. It's just so much prophecy that's going on. What we're really waiting for now is that karagma, okay? The M O R, the the um, the M O T B. You're supposed to know that is the scripture speaks about it. But like I say, this this uh. This 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 
uh, dragon juice is a prelude to that. They get you prepped up for that. Okay? It's all about the prophecies, man. You're supposed to be like mine as 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 the Lord, right? And the 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 the, the, the Lord, the testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, let's let's grab that real quick. This is the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter, at the 10th verse, and it reads, "This is the um, um, John the Revelator speaking to the angel." Okay, it says, "And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me." See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, or rather the, the, the angel speaking to uh, John the Revelator, and thy and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the spirit of, of our, our our Lord, right? The testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. So that's the more that's that's what we're supposed to be. And the scripture also tell you that um Second Peter's the 30th, it's like second Peter's, the third chapter, right? Where it tells you to be in holy conversation, man. Those, that, that, that holy conversation, um, when you go into that holy conversation, man, that, that means you, you're supposed to be speaking above prophecies, man. Okay? Um, second Peter chapter 3 and verse 11 seeing that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness man all right you're supposed to be speaking about prophecies man your, your conversation is supposed to be holy a holy conversation a set apart conversation because we are set apart people you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans so-called whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob you the Israelites man all right and you're supposed to be turning back from wickedness and evil and turning back to the Lord, repenting, repenting daily and trying to be found in good grace with him by pleasing the Lord and doing that which is righteous and, 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 and good in the sight of the Lord. So turn back and repent. Okay, you got it. You get, it's all about prophecies. It's happening, man. Judgment is coming. So, you know, hey, it, it would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. Okay, and be in holy conversation, man. When you go into... Um, 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 what's that? Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians. Uh, what's that? Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, at, at where it tells you the fifteen verse to 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 re redeem the time, man. It says, "See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, because of the times that we and all of these things they're trying to get you to shoot that jump shot." Right? So you got to be wise, man. All right? It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. So redeeming the time, meaning using the time that you have right now while you don't have liberty and uh, in this great spirit. You redeem this time to, 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 to uh, uh, store your treasures in heaven, man. Build up your spiritual bank account. You know what I'm saying? Use this time, redeeming this time right now to do good. Okay? To repent. Turn to the Lord. Be in holy conversation. Because these prophecies are going forth, man. And if you got eyes to see, you would see that. Okay? Scriptures say, blessed are your eyes for they see. To what are you about, should be on shine for that eye solve, man. Okay? Revelation 3 and 18. Okay? But the scripture tell you, man, none of these prophecies are going to fail, man. Let's get that real quick and we see it happening. Okay, none of these prophecies are going to fail. Look what's happening right now. You got uh, 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 Russia uh, mounting up on the border of Ukraine, right? And, you know, <laughs> it's tensions between the U.S. and Russia right now because the U.S. don't really want them there. Russia don't really want them there either. You know what I'm saying? That, that's more closer to their territory. But at the end of the day, these nations are jockeying for position. You know, they, 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 they jockeying for position, but we have to remember what the scriptures say. Okay? We, we have to remember what the scriptures say about Russia. Gog and Magog. He shall he going to be a god unto the nations, man. Um, let's get, um, before we go there, let's get Isaiah first real quick. Because the scripture tells you that none, none is going to fail, man. You know? We, we you know... To uh, MOTB, that's one of the next big prophecies to come. Okay, um, let's get um, Isaiah, 
Isaiah 34. I th Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For, for my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them. So it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. It's talking about prophecies, man. None of the prophecies are going to fail. Okay? None shall want her mate. Meaning it's no other book could be compared to the Holy Scriptures, man. This is the living, the living water. This book is alive and well. Okay? Things that has been prophesied in this book in the past have already came to pass. And you have more things in this book to come to pass. Okay? Scriptures say, the scriptures say all is going to be fulfilled, man. Okay? All is going to be fulfilled. The word of the Lord doesn't uh, return back unto him void. Okay? So it's all about this pro it's all about the prophecies, man. You know, it's all about the prophecies. So as I was saying about the tension right now with Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine, and the U.S., man, and these other nations, because one, you know, the scriptures speak about uh, 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 um, um, that little one that's going to draw them out. It's a, it's a time, a time is going to come where, where, where it, a, a little small nation is going to kind of draw out and just cause like a big major, <laughs> you know. A major, 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 major conflict, man. You know? It says, Scripture says, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Yeah. Something is going to happen that one of these little small countries, you know? <laughs> Something's going to happen, man. And hey, it's just going to spiral right into a big conflict. And that's, that's a prophecy because the Scripture say, the least of the flock shall draw them out. You know? But yeah. The Lord, see, that's part of the prophecy. The Lord, uh, speaking of Russia, which is which is known in the scripture as Gog and Magog, you know, the Lord say he 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 he's gonna he's gonna turn them back and put hooks in their jaw, man. So he's gonna bring them back to that old Soviet style that they was before. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter thirty-eight and verse four says, "And I will turn thee back," meaning. Russia, Gog and Magog, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with buckles and shields, bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Yeah, because they're gonna, they're gonna be Russia. They're gonna be a god unto the nations, man. All right, that's that's what it's gonna be. You know. When that time comes, scriptures speak about World War Three. So we see these things. We see these things happening, man. Let's get another one. Let's go to Jeremiah. I want to be Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter. Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter and the ninth verse. It says, "For lo, I will raise up and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country." And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence shall she be taken. So it's, it's already prophesied that for the daughter of Babylon to be taken, man. Their arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. This is prophecy. Okay? And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied with the Lord. Salaki, all that satisfy, all that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced over, because ye rejoice, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass, and below as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Okay, the hindermost is the western, this part of the world, man. Okay. Uh, North, uh, okay, basically North America, right? North Central and South America. But um, this is really speaking about the daughter of Babylon, man. Okay, on a dry desert, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited and it won't be inhabited again. But it shall be wholly desolate. Every one that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished, astonished, and hiss at her all her plagues. 
Okay, put yourself in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she had sinned against the Lord. Okay, shout against her round about. She had given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down, for it is for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she had done do unto her. So yeah, they went around the whole earth, hammering the earth. The scriptures say they the hammer, the hammer of the earth, man. Okay. The scripture said, uh, what's that? In, um, um, what's that? I think it's in Habakkuk where it say, he, 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 he keep it not at home, man. You know, and he, he enlarging it, he enlarging it, his desire as hell. He can't never get enough. Just going around the world and taking what he want. All right. A time is coming that that's going to be uh, uh, done away with, man. That's, that's, this is, I'm reading this in the scripture. All right. These nations, the nations are mad. <laughs> So at the end of the day, it's prophecy, man. It's gonna happen, you know. And it's all of these things, like you see the tension that's in the air right now. All of these things leading to a build up, man. Because the Lord says He's gonna take them into the Valley of Joseph and all of these different nations for the controversy of Zion, right? Right. So let's let's grab those two scriptures right quick. Let's go to Joel, the book of Joel, chapter three and verse two. It says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Let's jump down to verse 12. All right. It says, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So we know these things are prophesied. We see it starting to happen, man. Let's get Revelation 16 and 16. Okay. World War Three. The Bible calls it Armageddon, right? This is Revelation chapter 16 and verse 16. It says, And he gathered them in together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Okay? So, hey, <laughs> we see these things happening, man. Wars and rumors of wars. The Lord told us about that in the book of Matthew chapter 24, right? We seen these things happening, man, right before our very eyes. Okay? Let's grab that real quick. Matthew chapter 24. I'm jumping here at verse 6. You know, when the disciples asked the Lord, you know, um, you know, what should be the sign of thy coming? You know, roughly paraphrasing, it says, Matthew 24 and verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's what we're hearing about. That's how you know you're in end times. Tensions right now. Russia upon the Ukraine border. It says, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence. See, pestilence again, and earthquakes in diverse places. And we've been seeing all of these things: famines, shortages of food. That's what is a famine. Look at what's happening on the coast of uh, California. Okay, Long Beach. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Food shortages, man. You go to some of these stores right now; some of them shelves empty. Okay, verse eight. It says, "All these are the beginning of sorrow." So we in the end times, man. Right? So we see these prophecies coming to pass. The scriptures say, once again, none shall fail. You know what I'm saying? It's all about, it's all about these prophecies, man. But when you see they start to push that, 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 uh, that Marcus Sorellis, man, the, the Karagma, man, the MOTB, then you know it's really on them. But you see what's happening in uh, Australia and, and Italy, all of these different places now. New York City, they start to do different types of lockdown. You have to have certain... Uh, pass to get in certain place okay certain places you're not going to be able to go into they get ready to lock shit down all over again man all right so these the the, the, the prophecies are speaking man so hey hopefully you were edified with that on to the next one shalom